Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and today we're looking at the readings for the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. This week's readings just might shake you up a little bit. We're going to talk about unforgiveness, and the story here is the story of the parable of the unmerciful servant. You know, sometimes in our life we get into a scuffle with someone or something takes place and we, we take the bait and we fall into unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is where we feel like somebody has done something very serious to us and they owe us in a big way. But we're going to find out in the readings this week that we as Christians, as ambassadors for Christ, have a responsibility to walk in forgiveness and to release people from the debt that we perceive they owe us. Frankly, this is the hardest part of being a Christian because it's going to involve you dying to yourself, you picking up your cross. It's a lot harder than teaching a junior high CCD program. It's a lot harder than being on the financial committee on your parish, at your parish. It is the most difficult thing that we are called to do. Now, in the Old Testament, God chose Israel as his firstborn son. And the key there is that Israel is expected to do to the nations what God did for them. And what God did for them is he forgave them and he released them and brought them into freedom. Throughout the week, whether it's at home or work with our neighbors, you're going to encounter situations where you can either be imprisoned with unforgiveness or you can set people free by an act of the will. This story in Matthew chapter 18 is one of the most powerful stories, powerful stories that I have ever read. It starts off like this. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. Pause. What's a talent? A talent is a measure. It's a weight. Okay? And 10,000 talents is a lot. One talent, to give you an idea of what this man owed, one talent is, get this, 50 15 years wages. 15 years wages. That means that if you worked for 60 years, that's four talents. 60 years, four talents. This guy owed 10,000 talents. In other words, this is impossible. I'll never be able to pay this back. I remember a time years ago, my wife and I, we'd been married maybe, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years, 11, 12 years, something like that. And we got into credit card debt. And if you've ever been in credit card debt, you know it's like a tyrant. It is all over you. $5,000 in credit card debt when you're 27 years old and you're, you're newly married, it can be a lot. And you feel like, what am I gonna do? I'm never gonna be free. Well, can you imagine having maybe a thousand credit cards maxed out and that's what you owe? Wouldn't it be nice if somebody released you from that? If, if the, uh, the owner, the, the CEO of MasterCard, Visa, Discover, whatever, called you and said, we're going to wipe it out. Wouldn't you feel free? Oh my. Wouldn't you want to let other people experience that freedom? I would. Well, listen to this. He owed the 10,000 talents and as he could not pay, duh, his Lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, as you and I would. He fell on his knees imploring him, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. <laughs> it's impossible. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that servant released him. That's the key right there. Released him and forgave him the debt. But that same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii, just a pittance compared to the 15,000 talents. And seizing him by the throat, he said, pay what you owe. And so his fellow servants fell down and pleaded with him, have patience with me and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison till he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed. They went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. And that Lord summoned this guy who had been given forgiveness for 15,000 talents and yet wrung the neck of a guy who owed him just a few days wages. Then the Lord summoned him and said, you wicked servant. I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me and should not have and should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you listen to this now and in anger his lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all his debt can you imagine 
owing 10,000 talents. Each talent is 15 years. And then suddenly hearing the words, I release you. But then going out and strangling a guy who owes you just a little bit and then hearing from the, 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 the master, hold it. I'm putting you in jail. You're going to pay it all back now because I forgave you so much and released you from so much and you would not do that with your neighbor. Can you imagine how sick you would feel knowing I had it all and I wouldn't extend it to others? It's a good parable, don't you think? The only problem is Jesus isn't done talking. The parable is done, but here's the ending. It, the parable ends with, and in anger his Lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all of his debt. End of parable. Here's Jesus. So also will my heavenly Father do to you if you don't forgive your brother from the heart. My friend, forgiveness is very serious. And forgiveness can affect your physical health, your mental health, your whole well-being. If there is someone in your life right now that you will not forgive, remember, God has forgiven you everything. This week, forgive, release, go to confession, and allow God to cleanse your heart so that you can truly experience the freedom and release that he's offering you. God bless you.